Hey guys, what's up? Today in this video, I will be going ahead and comparing Chrome with Safari. So this is the, going to be the mobile uh, Chrome and the mobile Safari. And I'm going to be comparing it on my iPad 3. So both of these have been tested out, have been used on iPad 3 and only one iPad 3. So, and it's going to be a pretty fair test. So before actually doing any testing, I have actually deleted the browsing history. I've also deleted the cache or any cookies and etc. So just so you guys can say a fresh start from both sides. Now first I decided to go ahead and do some JavaScript benchmark testing. So I use SunSpider uh, benchmarking uh, utility and a lot of people use those to test out their sort of the rendering speeds of the page of, of the browsers. Now uh, the Safari actually uses the Nitro JavaScript engine which you know makes it really really quick to render websites and no matter if it's heavy websites like NY Times it does it really nicely uh, while Chrome doesn't use the, any kind of uh, Nitro JavaScript engines and stuff it does it simply uses <laughs> what's given to uh, that browser so uh, and you guys you can obviously see in these numbers right here that the Safari has I've actually tested them out three times you guys can see this uh, graph right here and I get a really consistent results and that is that Chrome scores about 7226 milliseconds then also uh, Safari scores about 1818.8 milliseconds in the first test now in the second test Chrome scores 7227.0 milliseconds while Safari again 1808 Point seven milliseconds. Then again, Chrome uh, in the third test, the last test, seven thousand three hundred and seven point two ms, while Safari eighteen oh one point one milliseconds. So again, you guys can see that the average is like for Safari is around about eighteen eighteen hundred milliseconds, and the Chrome is like about seventy two hundred milliseconds. So again, guys, this is the rendering test, and you guys can easily see that Safari wins that hands down. Now let's actually have a quick look at some, uh, you know, some real-world testing. So I'll be comparing, I'll be timing the, uh, you know, different websites. I will open up different websites and then I actually time them. So let's start over from Chrome uh, and uh, I've actually opened LockingDome.com, Apple.com, NYTimes.com, MacRumors.com, 9to5Mac and the technobuffalo.com now guys this is basically where the the different starts to sort of occur really and it, like not the the difference that we have seen in in the in the in those javascript benchmark tests this is something different right really like uh, chrome starts to get better in some of these website loading tests so if you know uh, when i loaded up lockgnome on chrome it took about 8.5 seconds for that to load up now Again, I, I might have, I actually have a bit, you, know, you guys can say, slow internet connection. Actually, not bad, it's actually a lot uh, slower now. Uh, it's like 8.5 seconds. While on Safari, it took Lock Gnome 10.5 milliseconds, uh, 10.5 seconds, not milliseconds. Again, Apple, it took uh, the Chrome 4.4 seconds, while Safari took uh, Safari 5.8 seconds. NY Times, it took uh, Chrome. 13.6 seconds while it took Safari 13.5 seconds. In Mac Rumors, uh, in Chrome, the Mac Rumors took 24 seconds to load up, so that was a really big thing. It, you know, the Chrome was actually really, uh, you know, was struggling when loading a Mac Rumors, no idea why. Safari, it took Safari 10.1 seconds to load up Mac Rumors. Uh, 9 to 5 Mac, Chrome 14 seconds while Safari 22.0 seconds and the chrome it took 23.3 seconds to load up techno buffalo and safari it took 19.3 seconds to load up techno buffalo so guys these are not you guys can see a consistent result so uh, you know the as far as the javascript benchmarks are results are concerned and if you look at these results after those tests you know, it's it's really sort of um, difficult to understand, really, because the Chrome, even though uh, not getting that, not having that Nitro JavaScript benchmark uh, thingy, it still actually was a lot better in some websites. For example, Apple.com, LockGnome.com, and uh, 9to5Mac.com. Not 9to5Mac.com. Actually, that was basically it, I think. Um, 
actually on 9 to 5 yeah 9 to 5 mac.com it actually took about 14 seconds for it to load up while it took safari 22.0 milliseconds a uh, second so okay, that is it that was my sort of a comparison between the uh between safari and google chrome thanks for watching this video guys do like this video and uh, comment down below if you th if you sort of agree with my testing and stuff and if you think that i've done anything wrong just comment down below i'll be happy to know what i have done any if i've done any mistake also guys uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see such content and uh, guys that's it guys and i will talk to you guys in the next video bye bye